Okay, so let us start. Mute yourself, and whenever you want to ask any question or participate, you can unmute yourself, okay? Miss? Yes. Did they do well in the quiz? Yes, some of you, they took full mark. I'm not talking about those who took full mark, of course. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, um, as I told you today, just let, let us pass quickly. So, as I told you, first of all, I'm going to revise. We are going together to revise uh, what's the meaning of lines, rays, and segments. Then we are going to identify what's the meaning of parallel intersecting and perpendicular lines. Uh, also, we're going to learn together how do we draw perpendicular lines and how do we draw parallel lines. First of all, uh, a point. What's a point? A point, it's an exact location in space. It has no length or width, and it's represented usually with capital letters, A, B, C, D, or whatever. Now, the line, a line, it's a collection of points, and they can go infinitely in both directions. So they, you can extend the line to the left or to the right as much as needed. This line, it can go vertically, horizontally, or oblique. And we name the letter using two, uh, we name the line using two letters, A and B, and they are in between parentheses. After the lines, we learned the rays or the segments, let us see, the segment. And the segment, it's a part of a line, but it has two endpoints. So it has a beginning and it has an end. Also, it can go vertically, horizontally, or obliquely. And it's also a name by two capital letters, A, B, for example, or A, D, A, C, but they are in between uh, brackets and not parentheses. So the parentheses are for the lines and the brackets for the segment. Is everything clear to now? Do I continue? Hi, miss. So Okay, Basita Lana, yeah. So now the ray, a ray, it's a part of a line also, but it has only one end point and an arrow at the uh, second direction, okay? And also it can go vertically, horizontally, or obliquely. Also the ray, it has two capital letters, A, B, but it's closed at an end and it's open on the other. And we... Uh, did this exercise where we identified the points, the rays, and the lines. Did we do this exercise? Yes, we did it, right? So we solved this exercise, yeah. and we did those two exercises. Now I'm going to start with the lines, okay? Now I want you to pay attention very well, okay? Excuse me, please. Yes, Talia. Yesterday I was absent. Oops, you have to watch the live session again. I already recorded okay. it and you can watch it anytime, okay? Okay. Yeah. Now, the lines. I'm going first to talk about intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines, of course, that cross out each other and they have one point in common. So two intersecting lines, they cross out, they pass through each other, and they have one point in common. Like for example, this line AC, can you see the line AC? Can you see the line DE? So the line AC and the line DE, they cross out each other at the point B. What do we call B in this case? We call it intersecting point so what do we call yes meeting point intersecting points all of these are correct so the lines ac and de they intersect each other at the point b so we call those two lines intersecting lines and actually most of the intersecting lines they form an x shape what do they form X shape. X shape. X shape. It's like an X. This is an X. So most of the intersecting lines, uh, they make an X shape. You know, here, here we have the sound X intersecting, right? So intersecting means they form an X shape. 
Is it clear till now? Do I continue? Any question? Yes. Okay. Now, after the intersecting lines, we have the perpendicular lines. What do we have? Perpendicular, perpendicular lines. lines. Very good. The perpendicular lines are special intersecting lines because they are intersecting, but not any X shape. It's the X shape that form an angle corner here. Did you see this, the box? So those are intersecting lines, but not any intersecting lines because they form a square corner. So we say in this case that lines, suppose that this line is AB and this line is CD. So we say AB and CD are perpendicular lines. Why they are perpendicular? Because they have an intersecting point here, which is, for example, E, but they form a square corner here. We have a square corner. We call it right angle. So that's indicate that those two lines are perpendicular. So till now, we have learned two types of lines the intersecting lines and the perpendicular lines. Don't forget, the perpendicular lines are special intersecting lines, special intersecting lines. Let us now continue. What do I still have? What do I still have? Parallel. Bravo, Ya Hassan. We still have parallel lines. So now we're going, we are going to talk about Parallel lines. Parallel lines, as you can see, are lines that lie on the same plane and they never cross. I want you all to look around you in the room. Look around you in the room. Can you see parallel lines? Yes. Where? The ceiling. Yes, very At good. CG? The ceiling. What else? Look at your phones or your iPads or your laptops. Can you see parallel lines? That's yeah. easy. Can you see perpendicular yes. lines? I can see them yes. in the table. Yes. In the table, very good. So can you see parallel and uh, intersecting and per, uh, perpendicular lines? Look at your chairs. Yes. yes. The door is perpendicular. Very good. Look at the windows. Yes. What do you think? The door. Do you... The door. Very good. All the, all the shapes around you, they contain parallel or intersecting or perpendicular lines. The book. Very good, Hassan. So, so is everything clear till now? Yes. yes. Great. So as you can see in this figure, we say that line AB is parallel to line CD. Why? Because they never cross each other. And the distance between them here, the distance, the distance is always the same. It's always the same. It never changes. The distance between them never changes. Is it clear? Yes, yes, and the parallel lines they walk next to each other and they don't like get close to each other or touch each other. Very good. Like the roads. The roads. If, yes. uh, if the, the lines are going to intersect each other, then we're going to have a lot of accidents, right? Yes. yes. Even the train road. You know the train road? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes two They're trains, they pass yeah. beside each other and they never make an accident. Why? Because the street, the road is parallel to each other. So they will never cross each other. Because right? they're not close yeah. to each other. Yeah. Yeah, like gradients. Now let us name the type of lines. I'm going to pick some of you to answer. Let us look at the first figure. I'm going to ask. Um, I'm going to ask. Ali Basma. Ali Basma, because he's a new visitor today with us. Ali Basma. Yes, Mas. Yeah, Ali, keep a key, Ali. Yeah. Ali, Khabbani, what's the type of these lines? 
Parallel, perpendicular, or intersecting? Amash, uh, can you repeat it? Are they parallel, perpendicular, or intersecting? Parallel. Parallel. No, not parallel. Never not parallel lines. The parallel lines, they never cross each other. Intersecting. They are perpendicular lines. Hey, don't perpendicular, Yamas. Why they are perpendicular? Because they are intersecting, but they form a right corner, a square corner here. Okay, Ali, rakiz mana, ha? Okay. Yeah. Now I want Mira. Mira. Yes, ma'am. Yalla, what do you think about those two lines? Parallel. Bravo, Amira. Excellent. Yeah. Marie? Marie? Kareem Bitar? Yes, miss. Hi, Kareem. How are you? Good. Yalla, yeah, Karim. What do you think about those two lines? Intersecting. Inter? Intersecting. Bravo, ya Karim. They are intersecting lines because they meet at a point. What's the meeting point? What's the name? Muhammad, you Muhammad, you Alet. It's not your turn. Yalla, ya Karim. Karim, Bitar. Karim, Bitar. Yes. It's okay. I heard you, Ahmad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Karim, those two lines are intersecting, right? Number 10. Number 11. Yes. Number 11, they are intersecting. Very good. But what's the intersecting point, ya Karim? What's the meeting point of the two lines? The middle. Yes. What, what's its name? It has a name, right? What's the name mm. of this point? It's, look here. You are talking about this point, right, Karim? Yes. This is the name of the point. It's it's usually found beside it. So what's yes. the, very good. This is intersecting lines. We still have a lot of exercises to do. So I'm going to, to start with this one. Right parallel intersecting or perpendicular for each pair. I'm going now to start with Rawad. Rawad? Yes. Laya Rawad, what do you think about number four? First yes. of all, what are the names of the lines that we have? It is intersecting. Yes, excellent. They are intersecting lines, but what are the name of the lines? What's the name of the first line? Which yes. Can I say it? No, no. P Q. P Q. Very good, Karim. And and O N. Very good. And O N are what intersecting. Are intersecting. Very good, Yara. What? Yeah. Now I'm going to choose. Let me start from the beginning. Hassan Sabra. Yalla ya Hassan. Yes. Yalla ya Hassan. First of all, tell me what. Uh, tell me what's the name of the two lines. S G. Yes. And H I. Very good. Let us write them. So F G, F G, and H I. Very good. And what are those two lines? Bravo, parallel lines. Excellent. Parallel, because my body was not parallel. Ali was. Ali. Yes. Yalla, give me the name of the lines, then tell me what are they. Um. The name is B C and B C F and and D and D F. Very good. And they are yes. intersecting. Excellent. Intersecting. 
very good, Ali. Intersecting lines. Um, now I want Jude. Say it. Miss Ma, walla, walla, hayji daw. Kill kun hayji daw kun. Walla, hatalla kun wahed wahed. Okay. Yes. Yal, Jude. Yes. Yal. Number seven. Mm. What are the names of the lines? S T. Yes, it's S T and V U. Very good. And they are perpendicular. Excellent. They are perpendicular. Why? Because they have a square corner in between them, right? Yes. yes. Now I want Lana. Yes. Yeah, la, Lana. Number eight. It's uh, A B. Yeah, la, let me write them just a second. A B, very good. Line A B and D e, C and D C, excellent. And they are parallel. No, you must pay attention. They are so close to each other. They are becoming close to cross out each other. Intersecting. Intersecting. I will tell you why. Okay, those are intersecting lines. Guys, we said that lines, we can extend them. So if I extend the line here and I extend the line here, what will happen? They will cross out each other in a point. So they are intersecting lines. Is it clear? Yes. Yalla ya Muhammad Hamoud. It's your turn. Hamad? Uh, sorry, Ali, Ali Hamoud. Ali? Ali Hamoud. J, K. Very good. So J, K, and? Uh, L, M. And L, M. Very good. And what are they, ya Ali? Parallel. Yeah, Miss Keith, parallel. Pay attention. Is about that fig tamil on extend? They are perpendicular. They are perpendicular lines. I will tell you why. If I extend the line LM, is Amanello extend home? They will form what in this side? A square? A, a square uh, corner. A corner. Okay, so those are perpendicular lines. Tafana? Mm. Yeah. yeah. And now I want Talia. Talia? Yes. Yalla, ya Talia. Bas khalini shwaya. Just a second. Okay. So Talia, here we have a figure. Can you see the figure? Mm -hmm. All of these figures, okay? Um, um, yeah. I'm going to ask you a question and you have to answer. Which line, okay. which line is parallel to GH? This is DH. Um, which line is parallel to GH? Bravo, Talia. AB. Bravo. Ta Mean the one who is going to answer? I'm talking to Talia, right? Bravo, Talia. Excellent. It's AB. It's line AB. It's parallel to GH. Excellent, Talia. Yalla. Now, Nancy. Yes. Hello, Nancy. Give me a line. Okay, I need a line that intersects with EF. Can you see EF? This is EF. This is EF. This is EF. This is EF. This is Intersecting. This is intersecting with this line. Oh, intersecting. This is EF. Yalla, who is intersecting with EF?
L M Bravo ya Nancy. Bravo ya Nancy. Bravo Nancy. It's L M. Excellent. Hala Baddi. Muhammad Muhammad Hamoud. Mr. Others, mute yourself. I can see. I can hear a lot of voices. Please. حدا عم يتاوب وحدا مدري شو. Mute yourself. يلا محمد حمود. Give me another line which is intersecting with EF. JK. برافو يا محمد. J. K. Intersecting with EF. برافو. هلا I want um Amal. Yes. يلا يا أمل. Give me a line, okay, which is yes. intersect. Uh, sorry, which is perpendicular to AB. Bravo, yeah, miss. It's J, K. Excellent. J, K, who are perpendicular to A, B, because it's, as you can see here, um, just a second. If you look here, we have a square corner between J, K, and A, B. The question is, there is another line which is perpendicular with A, B. Okay, we have another line which is perpendicular to A, B. Um, Karim Kirdib, Tarfu, can you tell me what's this line? Two perpendicular to AB. Can I say it? But the, but the uh, Karim Kirdib. Okay. Yeah. Yala ya Karim. Min huwa tani line ili perpendicular with AB? C D لا C D لا مش perpendicular بيطلع uh, intersecting حطول A B حعمل extend ل A B بلك شوي هيك بتصير أوضح عندك so this is A B طلع okay مع مين ما أقول يكون perpendicular مع مين يا كريم what do you think C E C E ما أولي يطلع perpendicular مع C E تعال نعمل join لC E إيه ولا ما أولي إيه ولا يا كريم برافو يا كريم عم بس عملنا له extend زبط excellent so C E كمان ححطه there's one more line مين في اللي وينه مين بعد ما جاوب أبدا ولا جواب أنا ما جواب مين أنا أمير أمير يا حبيبي كيف نسيتك يا أمير <تصفيق> يلا يا أمير ومين بعد في لاين perpendicular لـ AB LM برافو يا حبيبي excellent so إذا عملنا هون extend إذا عملنا extend لـ LM طلع حعمل له extend ليك بيطلع perpendicular to AB ليه لأنه هون we have a square corner برافو يا أمير excellent so كمان ححط LM Perfect. Yeah. Hello, but it's Al Mari. 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 Mari, but if you yes. Yeah, yeah, Mari. How many lines are parallel to EF? Shift here to EF. Why not? Uh huh. This is EF. I'm going to call it green. This is EF. I'm going to call it green. Yalla, ya Mari. Who is parallel to EF? Do you know, Mari? Parallel to EF. Dion parallel, huh? Parallel. Wait, 
بدي جي اف لا جي اف منا بارالل لا اي اف لا يارا جي دي لا لا كان ما يسير مير انا نانسي يلا يا نانسي سي دي يس فيري جود سي دي لا this is not the worksheet this is extra انا عم بعمل extra يا مس this is CD okay so CD and EF are parallel very good so I'm going to write here CD AMS yeah now the question is does CD intersect GH let us look at CD and GH Hamelon in yellow okay this is CD Access in yellow. This is CD and this is GH. Do they intersect each other? Yala, who wants to answer? Yes, they do. Why? <laughs> Why? The kind of like the X shape in it. Eh, but when? And the X shape. If we what? Okay. Bravo, ya Hassan. Bravo, ya Hassan. If we extend them, if we extend the lines, is I'm gonna extend from here and from here. Hey, we've done this. We've done this. We've done this line. They are going to meet. Very good, ya Hassan. So what I'm going to write is when we. Extend. Let me change the color. If we, when we extend, um, CD and GH, they are going toward meet. Fana? To intersect. Okay. To meet or to intersect. Both of them are correct. Is that clear? Yes. Great. So, guys, do you still have any question about those uh, lines? No. Look. No. Next time, let me talk to you. No. Next time, guys, I want you to prepare uh, your set square. Do you know what's the meaning of a set square? Yeah. It's a ruler. Yes, the one. Hey, this is the G. Aya wahdi ya Nancy.